Hello everyone and welcome to the Middlesex County Virtual College Fair. We're very excited that you are able to participate in this event this evening. We have quite a few number of fantastic schools here today to speak with you. My name is Clarissa and I'll be your facilitator today. I do have a few housekeeping items to go over with you before we get started. Your camera and microphone are turned off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. We also have a Q&A button with which you can use to ask questions throughout the time of the session. If you do have a question for a specific school, be sure to mention them within your question. This is also just one of many sessions happening this evening, so feel free to go back out to the schedule after this to see what else might be available. This session is also being recorded and will be available at the end of the fair at strivescan.com slash Middlesex. Now, without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to our first institution, which is University of New Haven. Hello everyone, my name is Colby Veer. I'm the Assistant Director of Transfer Enrollment here at the University of New Haven, and I'm so excited to be talking to you today about our very awesome school. Um, so we have only six minutes, so we'll get right into it. The University of New Haven um, is located in a really prime spot. New Haven itself is a small city, um, which really is bustling with so much to do. With five or six colleges around this area, there are so many restaurants and theater options and so many things to to explore within this area the nice thing about our campus though is that we're actually right outside of the city about five minutes from downtown so it's very easy to explore the city but then kind of come back to our nice little hamlet of campus um, we're also technically located in the town of west haven which does have the longest stretch of beach of any east coast city and we are right between boston and new york so it's perfect for travel traveling on, on the weekends. We have about 5,000 undergraduate students, which makes us about a medium-sized school. So it's nice because you'll meet someone new every day, but within your program and within your own group of friends, you won't get lost in the sauce. Um, and that size actually continues to, to um, transfer over to our classes. Because of um, the size of our school, we could have smaller class sizes rather than a really large lecture hall style classroom. Um, our average class size is about 22 students, so probably what you're very used to in high school. Um, and then we actually have over 100 programs and over 80 minors to choose from. So the University of New Haven is broken up into five different colleges. And these house all of our, of course, all of our majors, some of which are really unique. In the College of Arts and Sciences, our most popular majors are marine biology, um, psychology with the concentration in forensic psychology. Um, we also have an awesome chemistry, biology, or even a genetics and biotechnology program. The School of Health Sciences is very robust at the university. We offer um, degrees in dental hygiene, paramedicine, and health sciences for students who know that they want to go go on to medical school or explore different health careers. The College of Business offers fast track programs where you can earn your MBA along with your undergraduate degree all in one fell swoop, which can be done in four years. The College of Engineering, all of our programs are ABET accredited, which is the highest level of, of um, accreditation that you can have um, within a college of engineering. And so that is really important to our students. Um, and then finally, the Henry C. Lee College of Criminal Justice and Forensic Science houses some of our top majors. We have one of the best forensic science programs in the United States. And the largest major at our university is criminal justice, which boasts six different concentrations. Um, and there's also some more interesting majors like national security, fire science, and homeland security in there as well for students who have specific goals of going on to maybe governmental work or um, work in the fire industry lots of different options there overall no matter what major you pick 97 percent of our students overall um, after they graduate within one year are either on to graduate school or have started working in their field so we are always kind of thinking about how are we going to make what you're doing here at the University of New Haven impactful for you in the future so that way you could have gainful employment after graduation. 
We also do things other than study here at the University of New Haven. Um, we have over 200 clubs and activities on campus. So if there's something that you're involved in high school right now, chances are you can find it here at the university um, or get involved in something new like theater, joining a fraternity or sorority, joining um, one of our many, many clubs or just participating in some of our school activities like going to the football games on, on Saturdays. Um, experiential education is extremely important here at the university. So one way that students do that is through study abroad. We actually have um, a, a campus that, or um, a satellite campus rather, that's part of the University of New Haven, but is located in Prado, Italy. So this is one of our most um, popular options for study abroad, because you'll still be taking classes with your peers and with your professors, but you have the opportunity to do it in Tuscany, um, which is really fun for our students. For sports, we are um, part of the NCAA Division II, um, and we have 17 varsity sports that are all listed here. We also offer club sports and intramural sports. So if you do um, participate in sports in high school and you want to continue that in college, there's quite a lot of opportunity to do that here. And now scholarships, we know that these are very important. They range between 10 and $26,000. Um, that's actually changing up to $28,000 for fall 2022 students. And there's also smaller scholarships for other things that you might be involved in. You're automatically considered for scholarship when you apply to the University of New Haven. So you don't need to do anything extra to be considered. And then finally, we are hosting um, campus visits, it, both in a one on one and a group setting now on campus. And we also have nights with our financial aid advisors um, that are available in a virtual format. If you go and visit our website, you can find those opportunities. Also, our counselors are always um, ready to assist you with any questions that you might have about coming to the University of New Haven. And that is actually it for me. And I think that is right on time. Thank you so much for your presentation. Up next, we have Stevenson University. Awesome. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Hey everyone, my name is Morgan Belcher. I am an Assistant Director of Admissions at Stevenson University. I'm gonna try and give you the basics about Stevenson in my little six minutes that I have. Um, and I will definitely include um, our admission counselor who works with um, this area of New Jersey, his information in the chat at the end so you can reach out to him as well. Um, just to give you a little bit of an introduction to who we are in general, we are a small private liberal arts university located in Owings Mills, Maryland, which is in Northwest Baltimore County. So about 30, 35 minutes Northwest of the Inner Harbor area of Baltimore. If you guys have ever come down and seen an Orioles game or have gone to the uh, National Aquarium, we're about at a half an hour from there. Um, our residence halls were recently ranked number eight in the US. They are wonderful, as is the rest of our campus. If you ever want to come down and look at it, and we'll talk about visits a little bit later. 100% of our majors, which are on the next slide, provide uh, our students opportunities for career exploration, but also 100% of our majors require that students have either an internship or some other level of career exploration in order to graduate from Stevenson. Um, lastly, again, we are a small university, so a 17 um, average students per class. And then we also do have a very diverse community with about 42% of our students identifying as a racial or ethnic minority on our campus. This just shows you the full list of all of the majors that we have to offer. Of course, I won't go into detail about many of them or really um, any of them. What I will say is that um, our four most popular majors that we have at Stevenson are nursing, biology, business administration, and criminal justice. Nursing is definitely the thing that we are most known for. If you are you do happen to be interested in nursing, we do have a four-year direct entry program into nursing, meaning that we don't have pre-nursing, where you might have to do pre-nursing classes for a year or two and then apply into the nursing school and just hope you get in. We are not like that. Once you're in, you're in, and we will let you know um, your status of whether you've gotten into the nursing program on your acceptance letter. So it is a separate decision from getting into Stevenson. The only other program that we have that is like that is like that is our most um, recent addition to our academic programs, which is biomedical engineering. Um, 
which is our only bio or our only engineering uh, major that we offer at Stevenson. Uh, we do have a ton of other minors that are listed on our website that you can explore as well. We do encourage you to double major, double minor, kind of personalize your educational experience. And then of course, if you're interested in going into law school, med school, or another um, academic program after graduating from your undergraduate years, we also do have pre-professional advising programs with advisors that will help you um, take the right classes along the way and apply to law school, med school, et cetera, make sure you're prepared for those programs after your four years here. This is a little bit about how to apply to Stevenson. The main two things that you should take away from this slide um, is that number one, we are free to apply to. We do not have an application fee. And number two, we are rolling admissions. So we do not have um, you know, regular admissions, uh, you know, early decision, early action, those types of decision deadlines. All of our deadlines are really related to scholarships. So really all we need from you is these three things that you see under required information, your application, your transcript, and your essay and short response, of course. And then we are test blind for this year, meaning that we are not looking at SAT or ACT scores for admission into the university or for scholarship consideration. Speaking of scholarships, excuse me, these are all of the scholarships that we offer through our um, admissions office. We do also offer need-based financial aid and 99% of our students do receive some form of aid. Typically it is a combination of the two. So in terms of need-based financial aid, we definitely um, encourage you to fill out the FAFSA if that is something that you're interested in. We do offer a ton of other scholarships. Again, don't have time to go into all of them right now, but the couple that I will mention that are really special is this first one that is just a general merit-based scholarship based on off of your academic criteria, you're automatically considered for it when you apply, as long as you apply before February 1st. Um, and you actually will learn about that on your acceptance letter as well. It ranges from $10,000 a year to $21,000 a year. And the other one that I'll talk about a little bit is our presidential fellowship. That is our full tuition scholarship. We give it to 10 students per year. And it's our very first deadline coming up in just about two weeks on November 1st. So definitely let me know if you're interested and I'd be happy to answer your question um, in the Q&A section. Last major thing here is visiting. So we are doing on-campus daily tours every day, including weekends. So you can sign up for that and everything else on this slide on uh, stevenson.edu slash visit. Uh, we also do have a virtual campus tour. So if you can't make it down to campus right now, feel free to kind of do that self-guided on-campus or virtual campus tour. Uh, we do also have two more open houses that are coming up this fall, one at the end of this month and one in the beginning of December. That I would definitely encourage you to do if you're interested in hearing from our professors because they will be there at that open house. And then lastly, again, I will put Brandon's information in the chat. He works with all of our students from um, this area of New Jersey. So if you are interested in reaching out to him, you can also schedule a um, Zoom meeting or a phone meeting with him um, to meet your specific counselor at Stevens. And so that I believe is everything that I have. This is our general contact information, but I uh, hope to see you guys on campus very soon. Thank you so much for your presentation. Up next, we have Springfield College. Hey everyone, um, my name is Georgie. Um, I'm one of the assistant directors at Springfield College and I do read applications from this area. So if you reach out, um, I'd be the one to get in touch with. Um, I'll drop my contact information in the chat in a moment. Um, so I do have a brief PowerPoint for y'all um, with just some great information about Springfield College. Um, when we first started, we were actually a YMCA uh, training school. So we do have close ties to the Y. So if you do love volunteer work, Springfield's definitely a great place for that. We're also the birthplace of basketball. Um, so if you're into sports, we attract a lot of sports fans at Springfield College. Our humanics philosophy is our mission statement at Springfield. It's to educate students in spirit, mind, and body for service and leadership to others. Um, so we really do believe in educating the student holistically here at Springfield College. So if you're not doing good physically, mentally, then you're going to struggle academically as well. So we want to help support you as a whole student. Um, this way you can succeed in your academics. We also believe that experience that you're getting outside of the classroom is just as valuable as what you're learning within the classroom. All right. Oh, where do you want to go? So this is a little picture of campus. Um, so we 
are one unified campus, so we don't have a busy main road dividing us. Um, we are right on a lake, Lake Massasoit, so we have some pretty views from some of our residence halls. Uh, students are guaranteed housing for all four years. We're located in Springfield, Massachusetts, which is in uh, Western Massachusetts, right on the border of Massachusetts and Connecticut. We have lots of stuff to do on campus. We have more than 60 clubs and organizations to get involved in, um, as well as intramural sports clubs, sports, and Division Three athletics. Um, we have a ton of programming always happening on campus. Some things that we recently did on campus was ax throwing for our students. Um, and then we had a bunch of like inflatable obstacle courses that our students really enjoyed. We have about 4,000 students at Springfield, but about um, 2,200 of those students are undergraduate students. Um, our placement rate is 95%. So within six months of graduating, our students are getting into graduate schools and they're getting jobs. And then as I mentioned before, if you love volunteering, our students do tons of hours of volunteering at Springfield. It's not something we um, require students to do, but they choose to do so on their own. Uh, we have a few offices on campus that help set everything up. So they do all the legwork for you and you just sort of have to show up. We have tons of majors at Springfield College. Uh, we also have four direct entry programs that tend to be pretty popular, occupational therapy, uh, athletic training, physical therapy, as well as physician physician assistant. Um, so you're accepted not just to undergrad, but all the way through your master's program. And for physical therapy, it's through doctorate. Um, sports biology is super popular. Sports management, our business majors are popular. Education is super popular. We have all the way through for education um, from early childhood on. So we do have lots of options being a liberal arts school. Uh, you have tons of things to choose from. So if you start in a major and you're not a big fan, then you can switch to something else. Um, all of our, within all of our programs, you're gonna do at least one internship um, and you're gonna do hands-on experience within the first year. So you'll find out early on if you enjoy the field you're studying in. Uh, you can do up to three internships and receive college credit for them. So you can get lots of hands-on experience. We have a ton of immersive labs right on campus for our students. Um, so you can get experience on campus as well as off campus within the community. We have about 20 students per class, but the further into your program you go, it could get a little smaller. Um, so it is super nice. You have some smaller classes. Um, you really get to know your professors. And then we do have a few pre-professional programs as well. Um, a lot of our students do, um, I see a lot of applications for um, science-based majors. So health science, um, exercise science, uh, biology, sports biology are super popular just so happens within my area. Um, and a lot of students do end up doing like a pre-professional program in pre-med with those majors. So it is a great option and your academic advisor can help you. We also have an honors program and we have the ability for our students to study abroad. Um, I just like to remind students, talk with that um, to your academic advisor sooner than later. So athletics, we have intramural sports, we have club sports and we have division three athletics. We are within the top 5% of D3 athletics. You don't have to be recruited to play on our sports teams. You can just reach out to the coach and they can um, see if they can set up a tryout for you. App applying to Springfield, super easy. You apply through the Common App. There's no fee to apply. You have to write an essay. You'll pick one of the prompts. High school transcript, your um, guidance counselor will send us. We're SAT and ACT optionals for all programs for fall of 22. The only program that hasn't decided to stay that way is our education. One reference is needed and then a personal interview is optional. So all of our students get scholarships at Springfield College and they range, uh, range between 15,000 and 25,000. Um, so there's the ability to get some money to come. So I'd love to see you all on campus. Um, feel free to reach out to me if you'd like to schedule a visit. Um, we are doing in-person visits and we also have an open house coming up on November 7th. Um, and that's always a great time to come visit campus. Super lively. Um, so I'd love to see you all there. Alrighty, thank you so much. And I hope everyone has a great rest of your night. Thank you for your presentation. As a reminder to our participants, if you guys have any questions, definitely don't hesitate to put those in the Q&A down below. Up next, we have Arcadia University. 
Awesome. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Devin Miller. I'm a senior admissions counselor at Arcadia University. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with Arcadia, we're located um, in Pennsylvania. We're in Glenside, Pennsylvania, which is a suburb just outside the city of Philadelphia. So it's kind of a nice best of both worlds uh, scenario that you get at Arcadia campus itself. Um, is a little bit smaller, um, both in you know physical space and in population of students. It only takes about 10 minutes to walk from one end of campus to the other, and it's really just a big loop. We have our beautiful castle on the hill that overlooks our green space in the center of campus, and then everything else kind of loops around there. Um, being so close to Philly is a really great resource for our students. Um, it one kind of expands students to be able to get off campus and into a really um, great surrounding area, and it's a tool for students' education as well as a great way for students to um, have a place to explore on their own. We sponsor a lot of different events and trips into the city of Philadelphia, really connecting students with different, um, you know, the theater scene, different museum exhibits, sporting events, um, and then a lot of great internship opportunities and professional development um, experiences that students can have um, in our surrounding area. So it's a really great location. Um, being a smaller campus, we are really able to um, kind of build more community within the classroom as well as all across campus. So you can see our class sizes are a little bit smaller. Um, we really focus on building those personal relationships with um, professors and students, as well as um, student to student within the classroom. There's lots of great research opportunities and um, mentorship opportunities that students can take advantage of with their faculty. We've had students, um, a lot of students get published before they graduate or present with faculty members at conferences all across the country. So there's really great ways that students can get involved academically early on. Um, and we have more than 65 fields of study at Arcadia. So there's a wide variety of things that you can study. We are a liberal arts school. So anything from the arts to the sciences, to the humanities, to the social sciences we offer. Um, our most popular majors right now are biology, psychology, and business um, with our arts programs coming up right behind there. And we have some great uh, pre-professional programs and graduate opportunities. So students um, most popularly will do our four plus two programs in uh, physician assistant, physical therapy, um, and forensic science. They're all um, master's or doctorate programs that we offer right here um, on campus. So there's great ways that you can extend your studies even further um, through Arcadia. Outside the classroom, we also have a pretty vibrant student life. So in addition to being in a great location where students can do things off campus, there's always stuff happening right on campus as well. Um, we are a division three school athletically. So um, we have 26 division three teams. Um, this year is actually our first year that we're offering, offering men and women's ice hockey. So that's a really exciting addition that we have on to our athletic programs. Uh, and we also have 60 uh, plus student organizations. So chances are, if you're doing something in high school right now, um, we probably have a counterpart or something similar here on campus that you can get involved with or even start your own student organization. Um, we do guarantee housing for all four years and we are a largely residential school. So the majority of students are spending most of their time on campus and we always wanna make sure that there's fun events happening and things that students can take advantage of throughout the week and on the weekend. So you'll definitely never uh, be bored on campus whether um, we're doing our food truck festival in the fall or our spring fling event in spring fling event in the spring, um, there's always different things that you can look forward to um, right on campus. And then I always have to mention our global opportunities at Arcadia. We have a really deep commitment to giving students a global education and providing them with ample opportunity to get global experiences. The Institute of International Education has nationally ranked us uh, for our study abroad participation for the last decade. Um, and nine of those 10 years, we've been ranked number one. So it's a really great um, program that we offer for students, whether you wanted to do a short-term or a long-term experience um, studying abroad, you can do that right from your first year. So we have two programs, one where students can actually spend a full semester abroad in the spring of their first year in our Arcadia Center in London, England, or we have a variety, uh, a majority of students that do a week-long experience over their spring break of their first year, um, where they actually get to take a class on campus and then go abroad with their whole class over spring break. Um, those are just two of our first year options. Even after that, we have a variety of opportunities um, that students can take advantage of going abroad for anywhere from two weeks to an entire semester or a full academic year that you can spend in another country. So definitely a lot of ways that you can um, engage with the world around you uh, through your Arcadia education. 
And then lastly, I wanted to touch on our application process. Arcadia is on a rolling admission cycle. So um, we're accepting applications and reviewing them constantly all throughout the year. There's no real hard deadlines that you need to meet. We'll always have a decision for you within about two to three weeks of the time that you submit all of your application materials. We accept the common application or the coalition for college application. And then we only require students to submit a high school transcript um, and a letter of recommendation from either a teacher or a school counselor. Um, I always strongly encourage students to also submit an essay and a resume, even though they are listed as optional on the application. They just give us a little bit more of a holistic view of your application when we're reviewing. Um, and we do automatically review for scholarships when you apply. So uh, the more information that you tell us, the better informed of a decision we can make. There's a range of scholarships from about 10 to 30,000 that we award. And we'll let you know right when you get your admissions decision what your scholarship decision is as well. Um, SAT and ACT scores are also optional. And I don't necessarily recommend that you submit them, um, even though I do encourage the essay and the resume piece. Um, if anyone's interested in one of our art and or acting programs, we do require an additional step there through the portfolio review or acting audition process. Um, but that's just a basic overview of Arcadia. I encourage you to um, throw questions into the chat and I'm happy to answer anything in there. Thanks. Thank you very much for your presentation. Up next, we have Newman University. Hello, I'll just give me a quick second to Screen. So welcome to Newman University. My name is Luke Chalmers. I'm filling in for my colleague, uh, Andrew Wilbraham. Uh, he is the uh, typical counselor for this region. So a little bit about Newman University. We are 20 minutes south of Philadelphia. Uh, we're uh, so in a small town of Aston, Pennsylvania. Um, we're still within driving distances to the Jersey Shore, as well to New York City, where we have many different strategies happening throughout the year. Uh, we were founded back in 1965 by the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, and we are a Catholic institution in the Franciscan tradition. Uh, also, too, uh, if you want to graduate from Newman, 100% uh, of our students uh, do complete an internship. Uh, it is part of our graduation requirements. Uh, a little bit about Newman by the numbers, too. Uh, we're, again, we're a relatively small school with 2,500 uh, undergraduate students and 48 different academic programs. Average class size here is 23 with a student faculty ratio of 14 to 1. Uh, what that really means for the students here is, is a lot of individualized attention here. You won't be, you know, student 110 out of a lecture hall of 500. Uh, you'll get to know your professors very similar to what you used to in high school, maybe even a little smaller too. Uh, we also have 23 Division three varsity teams here, uh, we, as well as four residence halls on campus. And virtually every student who applies will receive some uh, some uh, bit of financial aid from us too. Listed on the screen uh, above here are all of our majors, uh, all 48 of our programs uh, from accounting to sports management. We have a handful of pre-professional programs as well too. Uh, some of the big uh, popular ones are our criminal justice major for the different uh, ways you can go down with it. Uh, nursing as well too, as well as uh, communications and digital media. So if you have any questions, please, again, don't hesitate to reach out. Here at Newman, we wanna make sure all of our students can succeed both in, in and out of the classroom and to make sure and to ensure that we have the, uh, the hub at Newman. Uh, here you can go get uh, assistance with tutoring, whether that is uh, a, group, a group setting or one-on-one, -on -one, whichever uh, works best for you. We also have writing service as well too. So it doesn't matter where you are in the writing process, uh, if you're at the beginning, middle or end, uh, come to them, they'll be able to uh, give you a second set of eyes on the product. Um, we also have disability services as well too, if that is something you had in high school that you wanna transfer over into college as well too. We also have academic coaching to help uh, students you know, who are maybe struggling with the adjustment from uh, high school into college. Um, just give them a little help and kind of give them a look at, you know, how they're managing their time and their study skills as well, too. And then when it comes time for, you know, look for internships or even uh, as you approach graduation and even after graduation, you're looking for jobs and uh, further in your career, uh, we have career and personal development to help you, you know, with the interview skills, resume building, and really kind of the overall hunt for jobs and internships as well, too. As I stated before, we have 23 varsity teams here at Newman. Uh, they're listed here on the screen, as well as seven club teams. We compete in the Atlantic East Conference, and we are Division Three 
uh, which means uh, per NCAA rules, we aren't able to give um, athletic specific scholarships. However, though, uh, our financial aid packages are still very competitive. So it's kind of, uh, it doesn't uh, hinder our ability to make, still make your education as, for, as affordable as possible too. If you have any questions uh, want to be connected with the uh, coach, again, uh, at the end of this, I will we'll put Andrew's um, contact information in the chat. So you'll be able to contact him uh, and ask me any questions about that. Now to the nuts and bolts of the, of the um, application process. Application is live, obviously. Uh, we are on the Common App as well as our own in-house application on our website. Uh, we have an early action deadline of December 1st. So if you apply by December 1st, we guarantee you a decision no later than Christmas. Obviously, you can apply earlier and do a decision earlier. We are, we are reading applications now, so please don't hesitate to apply. Uh, we are on a roll and, uh, a roll on admission basis, essentially, too. And then into neck into the 2022 calendar year, we're going to be strictly on a rolling basis. So you submit your application, you will get a decision, uh, one to two business, uh, not one to two uh, business days, uh, 10 to 14 business days after you submit it. So it's so a pretty quick turnaround. This year as well, too, we are uh, test free. So uh, we uh, do not encourage you all to send in your test scores as we are able to make a admission decision strictly based off your high school transcript. So that is the only required uh, requirement. But like uh, Devin said too, we uh, have the same kind of mindset here. We still strongly encourage you guys to uh, submit a letter of rec as well as the essay, just get a nice holistic view of you. Um, Jason kind of give you something, a chance to describe something that can't be uh, rep uh, represented on your transcript. I did mention that 99% uh, of our students do receive financial aid from Newman and it comes in the form of, so on that form, comes in the uh, form of a marriage scholarships. They range from 11,000 to $20,000 and they uh, are directly correlated to your high school GPA. Uh, so as you've probably heard a thousand times and hear a million more, do well in school. The more, more, the better you do in school, the more money Newman can give you to make your, again, you make your education more affordable. And then also we have other scholarships and grants as well too. If you are graduating from a Catholic high school, we have a grant of $3,000 for first year students. If you're looking to uh, join our nursing uh, school, there is a nursing award of $2,000 as well too, a residential grant for students look, who are looking to live on campus. Uh, if, you have, if you are a, um, a child or a student of a uh, parent or grandparent who went to Newman, you get a legacy award, and then there's also a first generation grant as well, too, on the flip side, if you're the first in your household to achieve a college degree. Uh, so thank you all, that's my presentation. We are hosting uh, in-person uh, in events throughout the, throughout the year. We have uh, weekly tours, as well as, uh, as one more open house in the fall in November, and we have um, four more Saturday tours, this Saturday, next Saturday, as well as two Saturdays in December, too. So thank you all, and have a nice day. Thank you for that presentation. Our final institution for this session is Seton Hall University. All right, thank you. Just one second as I share my screen with you all. All right, so thank you all for joining. Um, my name is Gregory Gamble. I am an assistant director of EOF recruitment at Seton Hall University, uh, but I'm representing the admissions office tonight. Um, so below we have our contact information for the admissions office. A little bit about Seton Hall. Uh, we offer all of the advantages of a large research university coupled with all the benefits of a small supportive and nurturing environment. Of course, we're located conveniently in South Orange, New Jersey, about 14 miles from New York City. Um, 30 minute ride, 35 minute train ride uh, right from the South Orange train station. Uh, we have uh, about 6,200 undergraduate students, a little over 4,000 grad. Uh, so a little over 10,000 total, which makes us a medium sized school. Uh, we have just about a one-to-one -one female to male ratio where all 50 states are represented in over 70 countries. Uh, and we boast a 45% diversity rate. 
we're because of our uh, school size, we're able to give great personal attention. Our average class size is about 21 students. Our average freshman English class size is about 15 students. Our student to faculty ratio is 14 to one. We offer close faculty mentorship and we use minimal graduate assistance, uh, which is really a great benefit for students uh, when it comes to research opportunities. Of course, we offer outstanding academics. We have over 90 undergraduate uh, programs that are available. Um, many in the College of Arts and Sciences, of course, the School of Diplomacy and International Relations, where we have a unique relationship with the United Nations. Um, our St Stillman School of Business is ranked in the top 10 undergraduate business programs in the country. Uh, our College of Nursing is a strong program that offers a four-year BSN. Of course, we have the College of Education and Human Services, the College of Communication and the Arts, our law school, which it ranks in the top 50 law schools in the country, um, our School of Health and Medical Sciences, and of course, our School of Theology. As a university, we offer hands-on learning. You have the opportunity to complete research with faculty, study abroad, and, and or spend a semester in Washington, DC. Uh, you can participate in community service. You can work for our radio station, which is WSOU, which is actually in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, the Syntonian, which is our school newspaper, or our theater productions. You'll have access to our market research center, our mock trading room, and our sports polling center, all of which have been used uh, by the likes of ESPN, NBC, and ABC. You have access to our clinical learning labs and our behavioral psychology labs. And of course, as I stated earlier, we're 14 miles from New York City, uh, which is a great benefit for not only your academic resources, but for your social life. In terms of internships and career services, uh, currently we rank in the top four programs or the top four universities in the country for internship opportunities. We have over 17,000 opportunities university-wide. We have an outstanding 12 member career center uh, staff that starts working with you uh, at the beginning of your freshman year. Over 81% of our students have completed one or more internships. As a university, we have an employment rate of 93%. Our graduates' mid-career earnings are actually 50% higher than the national average. Uh, so what that means is 10 years after you graduate, um, the, average, the average amount of what you make per year, uh, Seton Hall's graduates actually earn 50% higher than the average. Um, and we have over 550 employers that visit our campus every year to recruit our graduates. Campus life at the Hall. Uh, we have over 150 student clubs and organizations, 26 Greek organizations, and there are weekly events and entertainment hosted by our student activities board. Uh, we are a division one athletic school. We participate in the Big East Conference. We have 14 division one athletic teams and 25 club and intramural sports teams. Uh, and then when it comes to housing, we have six residence halls and two apartment buildings. 80% um, of our freshmen actually live on campus and 50% of our total undergraduate population uh, live in university housing. When it comes to affordability and scholarships, Seton Hall uh, gives over $100 million in grants and scholarships every year. 98% of our students receive aid and 98% of our students receive grants or scholarships directly from the university. Uh, we do give out uh, mayor scholarships automatically awarded upon admission. Those range anywhere from $8,000 to $25,000 per year. Um, and then we have special scholarships that you can apply to online. The deadline typically for those scholarships is January 15th. And lastly, a little about the application process. Our application deadlines are early action one and two, November 15th and December 15th. Um, of course, early action is non-binding. Um, so if you do get a decision, you don't have to commit to the university, uh, but it's always good to find out early. That way you get considered for additional scholarships as well. Um, and then regular decision one and two is February 1st and March 1st. Uh, as far as your application materials, our Common App, uh, you can apply through our Common App or the Seton Hall application. Uh, there is a $55 fee for our application, but as you can see, I provided the application fee waiver, uh, which is XFW. You need to submit your essay, transcripts, and your counsel report, teacher recommendation. Uh, we are test optional this year, but if you do submit your standardized test scores, which, I, which is the SAT or ACT, 
Um, you do have the opportunity to boost your marriage scholarship. Um, and then of course we take a holistic review. Um, our average applicant has about a 3.6 GPA, a 1285 on the SAT or a 28 on the ACT. All right, thank you. And that's my presentation. All right, thank you everyone for presenting on your respective institutions. We have come to the end of our programming. So thank you everyone for joining us. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick five question survey and we would appreciate any feedback you can provide to us. We also encourage you to go back to the schedule. There is an additional hour up next. So definitely go check out to see what other schools are presenting. And as I mentioned earlier, the session was recorded and will be available with all the other sessions at strivescan.com slash Middlesex. Again, thank you for joining us and have a great evening. There's not another one, right? No.